Holy Spirit. Today we will follow you and pray with you as we go through the stations you visited on your final journey of love. You loved us so much that you gave up your life for us. Help us to give your love to others. We know that if we are kind to those around us, then we are being kind to you. Today we take with, our, with us our cross to remind us of the children that need, our, that need our help around the world. Let us never forget them. Amen. Pilate condemns Jesus. Jesus, the people want you to die. They tell lies about you, but you do not say a word. Then the soldiers beat you with whips and put a crown of thorns on your head. They laugh at you and hit you, and then they condemn you to death. You suffer all this quietly because I disobeyed God's law. When you judge my soul after I die, please be kind to me and forgive me. Jesus receives the cross. The cross was big and heavy. It was hard for Jesus to carry it. Jesus carried the heavy cross without complaining once. Jesus told us to follow him, we must take up our cross. Dear Jesus, like you we carry our crosses to remind us of your suffering. Teach us to thank our friends and classmates as our brothers and sisters who need us to take care of them. Help us to help each other without expecting anything in return. If you could carry your cross, then for sure we can carry ours. Jesus falls the first time. Jesus was already badly wounded when he fell the first time. It must have hurt very much. Jesus got up and kept going. Jesus falls when children suffer, children who wait for us to help them. Dear Jesus, help me to see the children around me who need a friend, who need help with schoolwork, who want to play with others but are always left out. Make me strong so that I can always be a friend for them. Jesus meets his mother. Jesus knew that his mother was sad to see him suffering so much, but he was so happy she came to him. Mary loved Jesus very much. Many children today, especially refugees, have no mother or father. Dear Mary, teach us to love our mother and father, our sisters and brothers. Let us never forget how much they care for us. Today we carry the word crosses to remind us of all the children Simon didn't come to help Jesus, but to see what was going on. Then he was ordered by the soldiers to carry the cross. Because Jesus was having such a hard time when Jesus was so tired that he could go no further, Simon lifted up the cross and helped Jesus on his way. I want to walk after you each day with my cross on my shoulder to show how much I love you. Dear Jesus, you let Simon help you carry your cross to teach us that we all need help at times. Let us always be thankful for those who help us when we are sad and need help. Station 6. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Veronica loved Jesus very much. When she stepped out to wipe his face, she risked getting in big trouble from the soldiers. Her love and kindness overcame her fear. When Jesus was in pain, Veronica reach, reached out to wipe his face. Her reward was the grace of his pre presence with her forever. Jesus, make me kind and pure, that you may always see in my soul a picture of yourself. Dear Jesus, help me to be like Veronica. When I see someone fall, I want to help them get back up. I know that, I, that I, helping others is like helping me. Jesus falls a second time. Jesus, my sins made you fall once again under your heavy cross. I hope to get your grace by going to confession and Holy Communion often and by saving by saying my prayers to keep me from falling just into sin. All my life, let me never stop trying to do your holy will. Station 8. Jesus, the good woman, are crying to see you in such pain. You tell them not to cry, but to be sorry for their sins and the sins of their children. How 
want me to be very sorry for having offended you when I disobeyed my heavenly Father. Station 9. Jesus falls for the third time. Jesus, you take me each step to Calvary for love, for love of me to save my soul. You fall again and yet you try to reach the top where you will die. How little I try to do things that give you joy. I find it hard to obey even to think of you and pray and offer up some little pain to show you how much I love you and that I really care. Station 10, the soldier's terror of Jesus' clothes. No care and no dignity is given to you now, Jesus. Even your clothes are taken. You have nothing left to give except suffering and your final breaths. Take away from me anything at all that may keep me from loving you. Make my heart pure and kind and fill it with your grace. Then offer me to God with you. Station 11. Jesus is nailed to the cross. Jesus, how it must have hurt when the man hammered large nails into your hands and feet and lifted, you, lifted up the cross. Let me never forget that when I commit a mortal sin, it is like nailing you again, because you died to take away my sin. Jesus dies on the cross. I thank you for your sacrifice, which took away my sin, and gave me grace to be God's friend and to live as his good child. I thank you for your love and mercy, and for all the pain you felt to win my soul from the devil, and to lead me to heaven someday. As you die for me, may I live and die for you. Jesus is taken from the cross. Jesus, your friends put your body into your mother's arms. 33 years before, she gave you to us as a sweet child of Bethlehem. Now we give you back to her, torn, bleeding, and dead. Our sins have cut her heart like a sharp sword of sorrow. Yet she prays for us, her children, for you, gave her to us as a mother when we were dying on the cross. Station 14. Jesus is laid in the tomb. Jesus, your mother's heart was broken when she saw your dead body lying in the tomb. She gave you up to die for me. How much she must have loved me. For her sake, please forgive me and help me to save my soul for which you suffered and died. Yeah.